Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. If the principle of strong induction holds, then the well-ordering principle holds. Okay, so first of all, what is the well-ordering principle? Well, the well-ordering principle states that for every subset of the natural numbers, if that subset is not empty, then that subset has a smallest element. Let me write down what that is in logic notation. This is the well-ordering principle, and we're going to prove it under the assumption that the principle of strong induction holds, right? So to start out, well, we're trying to prove a statement about all subsets of the natural numbers. So give me an arbitrary subset of the natural numbers. I'll call it S. And our whole goal now is to prove that if S is non-empty, then S has a smallest element. Now, we're actually going to prove the contrapositive. That is, we're going to prove if S does not have a smallest element, then S is empty. So, assume S does not have a smallest element. So really, this means for every element x in S, there is an element y in S such that y is less than x. In other words, if you consider any element of S and you think that that element is the smallest element of S, well, you're wrong because there is an element in S smaller than it. Now, we want to show that S is empty. So our claim is that for all natural numbers n, n is not an element of S. And we're going to prove this by strong induction. To apply strong induction, we're going to give ourselves an arbitrary natural number n. And we're going to assume for all natural numbers k less than n, k is not an element of S. Our goal now is to prove that n is also not an element of s. If we can do that, then by strong induction, it will follow that for all natural numbers n and n, n is not an element of s. Okay, so we want to show n is not an element of s. So assume for a contradiction n is an element of s. So what happens if n is an element of s? Well, Remember, we know that this statement works for every element of S, so it must work for n, right? So we can take this statement, replace x with n, and we have that there is some element y in S such that y is less than n. Now notice, y is an element of S, and since S is a subset of n, of course y is a natural number. So y is a natural number less than n. But we know by our induction hypothesis that every natural number less than n is not an element of s. So since y is a natural number less than n, it follows that y is not an element of s. So we have that y is an element of s and y is not an element of s. This gives us a contradiction. Our assumption that n is an element of s led us to a contradiction, so we must instead have that n is not an element of s. Okay, so let's put this together. We gave ourselves an arbitrary natural number n, and we assume that every natural number less than n is not an element of s. We proceeded from there to show that n is also not an element of s. By strong induction, this tells us that this statement is true. Now, this statement tells us that S is empty. The reason why is because if S was not empty, then S would have some element, say, W in it. So W is an element of S. But since W is an element of S, it follows that W is an element of N. But we know that every natural number is not an element of S. So W is not an element of S. Gives us a contradiction. So that is why this statement implies that S is empty. So, 
we have shown that if S does not have a smallest element, then S is empty. Therefore, the contrapositive tells us that if S is not empty, then S does have a smallest element. So we have proven this statement. And since S was an arbitrary subset of the natural numbers, this means for every subset S of the natural numbers, this is true. So we have proven precisely this statement, which amounts to proving the well-ordering principle. And so this completes the proof. And so yeah, this is one way in which you could prove that if the strong induction principle holds, then the well-ordering principle holds. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.